but with omega-6 fatty acids. Would you describe those as pro-inflammatory in the doses we currently consume them? Well, there are some currently very prominent authors in the literature who, who do make that simplistic um, um, categorization of omega-6 fats. What's important is the first essential fat ever discovered for mammalian, human and, mam and mammals, was our omega-6 fats. We have to have a modest amount of omega-6 fats for life, but that, you know, for, for, for well-being and function in our lives. But that's maybe a teaspoon per day of omega-6 fats. It, but omega-6s are a category where more is not better. Because if you have a buildup of omega-6 fats, on a very high omega-6 intakes, a number of, of things have been shown in animal studies to get worse rather than better. Um, so um, you almost can think of omega-6s and omega-3s as a teaspoon each per day. If you're eating a very low-fat diet, those two teaspoons of fat are a fairly prominent component of your diet because you're eating so little fat, say, you know, 10 tablespoons of fat per day. Two teaspoons is a fair amount. But at the other end of the scale, where someone like me is eating over a thousand calories of fat, that's well over 100 grams of fat per day, um, you know, that two teaspoons is a very small proportion uh, of, of my daily intake. So do you necessarily recommend that people proactively try to limit omega-6 fatty acids or not necessarily? If you're on a, if in a maintenance phase where fat is necessarily a significant, if not major part of, of your total daily energy intake, mm -hmm. one should steer clear of rich sources of omega-6s to avoid getting too much. So that's why I recommend when we talked about preferred oils, I, I mentioned high monounsaturate oils like olive, canola, and high oleic safflower, which are, because they're high in monounsaturates, they're, they're relatively low in proportion of omega-6s, which are polyunsaturates. And how would you minimize omega-6s specifically? What types of things might you avoid trying to eat? And, and a separate question, but are monounsaturated fats considered anti-inflammatory? And where else can you get those other than from oils? Um, monounsaturates, people will vary. It depends on whether you're eating a, you know, if you eat a Mediterranean diet, which has lots of dark vegetables and dark fruits in it, people say that's an anti-inflammatory diet. But it's not the olive oil in the in Mediterranean diet that's anti-inflammatory. The monounsaturates tend to be relatively neutral in terms of inflammation and inflammatory responses in the body. Um, and the way to limit, to not get too much omega-6 fat is to stay away from the vegetable oils that are very rich in omega-6. And again, I don't want to demonize any one particular product, but as a general rule, the, the, commonly, the current commonly used seed oils in uh, our food industry, which are uh, soybean oil, corn oil, uh, cotton seed oil, um, uh, and some forms of sunflower and older forms of sunflower and safflower are very rich in omega-6. If you're on a very low fat diet and you want to get enough of the essential fats, those may be good components of a very low fat diet. But if you're on a high fat diet, those would not be the preferred. In fact, those would be the, the, the forms of, of oils to avoid. So soy, corn, cottonseed, um, and, and um, uh, peanut oil as well.